Also happening right now, Dallas City Council is getting an update on its Vision Zero plan. City Council members say that they want more accountability after several NBC5 investigations highlighted a lack of progress on that initiative. NBC5's Alana Quillen is live in downtown Dallas for us following this story this midday. Hi there, Alana. Good morning. Yeah, the city of Dallas established this Vision Zero plan five years ago back in 2019. And the big question now is whether or not they've made enough improvements to city streets and other areas to really reduce reduce the pedestrian deaths and injuries by 2030 because really they have just six more years to go until that deadline that they've set for themselves. Here's a live look inside Dallas City Council Chambers right now where that presentation and update on Vision Zero is underway. Our NBC5 Investigates team is in that room continuing their coverage on their series Driven to Death. Their reporting found that in recent years Dallas had the highest traffic death rate among America's 10 largest cities. Several months ago, NBC5 Investigates obtained a draft copy of a Vision Zero progress report, and it showed few action items had been completed. Many were listed as in progress or not started. The investigation also revealed several pedestrian problem areas across the city, including a major crosswalk in East Dallas that had been faded for at least 15 years, forcing students in the area to run across the six-lane road. Another report pinpointed a stretch of Loop 12 in southern Dallas where drivers struck and killed five pedestrians within 11 months last year. Now, after those NBC5 reports, city council members asked the Dallas Transportation Director Gus Concarly for a full briefing. In a committee meeting last month, he declined to say how many of those action items are completed. But today, the council is supposed to get an update on that and hopefully get some more answers to some questions they've had for weeks. Concarly insists that progress has been made, but also mentioned constraints on resources. At the last briefing, some council members pressed him on how the city can implement Vision Zero safety measures more quickly to speed up the process of redesigning streets with high speeds and high numbers of driver and pedestrian deaths. I want to say is that the city of Dallas, while we're not happy nor satisfied, and we shouldn't be satisfied to where we are, but we're making uh, some headways considering the uh, constraints on the resources. And I know y'all are putting in work, but uh, if I was a, a member of the public listening and watching in, I'd, I'd be like, dang, we have, we have to wait more to hear more details and more concrete steps. So I looked through the presentation that the city is about to give today, and some of the updates do include an allocation of $1.6 million that was made in October toward Vision Zero efforts. There's also a section showing some updates, uh, improvements that are either completed or other way. That includes corridor studies, improving school zones and crosswalks, and adding more traffic signals across Dallas. Now, NBC5 investigates will have a full update on this coming up later on today, both on on air and online. And if you want to read and watch that Driven to Death series, you can find that on our website, NBCDFW.com. Reporting live in Dallas, Alana Quillen, NBC5.